。各大车厂纷纷宣布要将旗下车款改成电动车，看起来充满愿景，但对美国中西部的铁锈带来说，却笼罩在一片阴霾当中。When you transition to an electric vehicle, you're looking at batteries, and it's a very different kind of job. So there's a lack of understanding as to whether these jobs will dry up or be transferable if there's workforce training. And what kinds of needs the company will have in the future? And so there's this kind of fear, uncertainty about those that are currently in school, and how can they even train themselves to be ready for the next jobs that these these factories offer? 美国中西部，包括密西根、印第安纳、俄亥俄等地区，经济活动长期仰赖汽车产业，包括各种燃油车零件线路的制造，还有连接。一旦电动化，很多技能根本派不上用场。These jobs just are very different. So internal combustion engines, they have crankshafts, spark plugs, radiators, and the electric vehicle has the battery. So electric vehicles have fewer moving parts and require less equipment. So typically, they require less manufacturing to build. The estimates put it at about 30 percent less. 中西部的汽车产业其实早就面对一波失业困境。美国汽车产业全盛时期，大约有两千万名劳工投入生产，目前不到一千三百万人。也因此，川普时代频频出招，祭出包括对中关税，并且重新商议北美自由贸易协定，想挽救蓝领阶层。但专家认为，川普恐怕没有找对方向。Reversing offshoring or trying to chase more manufacturing jobs through trade policy was likely to be a disappointing public policy because everybody agrees that a large share of, of factory job losses over the past 30, 40 years have been due not to China stealing our jobs or Mexico stealing our jobs, but rather the loss of jobs due to manufacturing workers being more productive. Mostly, we think about it as technology. 汽车产业的自动化已经让不少人没有头路。现在燃油车转换到电动车将再进一步受到影响。很多零件代工业者是首当其冲。With electric vehicles, some companies like General Motors are trying to pretty much get as much in-house as possible because they believe that they can have a capital advantage. As well as diversify their revenue streams by having a product that maybe they could sell to another OEM or even another industry like locomotive or planes or anything like that. 根据今年六月的统计数字，美国大约有一百万人在汽车制造业当中拥有一份正职工作，大约半数都是在从事容易受到冲击的零组件企业上班。无数家庭可能被迫面对彷徨的未来。Fate of these companies is very intimately tied to the fate of the communities and whether the jobs will be there. But there are other ways that U.S. companies can kind of compensate for this this loss of employment. So one is through their supply chains. And the other is through domestic production, increasing domestic production. Biden 上个月通过抗通膨法案，其中一百亿美元投入能源还有电动车的开发，同时拨款二十亿美元协助现有的汽车产业做转换。生产燃油汽车的业者也强调，正在积极转型。You've got、uh, different types of、uh, bearings and、uh, other types of rolling elements for electric vehicle motors,、uh, and that'll apply to all forms of mobility, whether it's an e-bike. Or whether it's a you know autonomous delivery vehicle in the future, so we're diversified, and we expect to become even more diversified as this transition occurs. 尽管电动车来势汹汹，但目前全球电动车销售占比大约只有百分之九。想要全面取代燃油车，还需要一段时间。因此，拜登政府把握时机，积极推动制造业转换，就是担心汽车制造业大萧条，不止经济会出现负面性的波动，同时还可能影响选情，恐怕造成更全面性的冲击。TVBS 新闻综合报道。